Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to give you 10 latest defense updates. Number 1. MROP for Tejas MK2 program. Indian state owned HAL want to reduce the manpower are required for manufacturing the Tejas MK2 program when it enters production and is looking at more automation like scanning to avoid visual measurement of the airframe and automated hole drilling on assembly of the aircraft airframe to cost to cut cost and overall men are required next hal gets a rap for delays iaf needs more trainer aircraft squad parliamentary standing committee on defense scod in its report has informed parliament that Indian Air Force is short of trainer aircraft against sectioned strength of 388 with only 260 trainer aircraft. HAL developed IJT-36 subsonic intermediate jet trainer aircraft that was to replace the aging Kiran MK2 trainer aircraft under stage 2 trainer program is seen as the biggest factor, IAF does not have fully sanctioned strength due to years of delays in the program. Next, classic amphibious plane as G111T Albatross. A Chennai based startup Hawking Defence Service has joined hands with Australian based amphibian aerospace industries, the manufacturer of Albatross amphibious aircraft to bring back Grumman HU-16 Albatross, a large twin radial engine amphibious seaplane as G-111T Albat Albatross nearly 75 years back after its first flight. Is LVM-3 rocket suited for manned flights? Scientists at ISRO on Sunday reaped another success with the LVM-3 M3 OneWeb India 2 mission as the rocket used had a configuration similar to the one that would be used for human space flight in the amphibious, ambitious Gaganyaan project. The LVM-3 rocket formerly the uh, desynchronous launch vehicle MK-3 Indian Space Research Organization's heaviest launch vehicle so far successfully placed 36 satellites of one web into orbit earlier in the day. Next, presence of mine saves three on board. One person was injured when a Coast Guard helicopter crashed on Sunday just after takeoff from its enclave at the Cochin International Airport Limited here. But the presence of mind of the pilot saved the lives of three persons on board, a release said. The Indian Coast Guard said, God, God said the ALH MK3 chopper CG855 based in Kochi took off from the enclave located inside CIAL complex at about 12.25 p.m. for in-flight checks after fitment of control rods on the aircraft next is pm modi's sport game changer prime minister narendra modi timely intervention and the indian government support in making available isro rockets paved the way for sunday's crucial launch of the final set of 36 satellites of one web the satellite telecom service provider company's chairman sunil bharti mittal said the low earth orbit that is leo Satellite communications firm today launched the satellite on an ISRO LVM LMV3 rocket from the Sri Harikota Space Facility in Andhra Pradesh. With this, the total fleet of in orbit first generation constellation of the London based company has gone up to 618. These satellites are crucial for the company to be able to deliver broadcast internet coverage from space to any place on earth. We had a big setback with the Russia-Ukraine war as six launches of satellites which were contracted and fully paid for were taken out. Next, 
China won't be attending the G20 summit in Arunachal Pradesh. China did not attend the G20 meeting in Ita Nagar Arunachal Pradesh, which was held on Sunday. According to official sources, more than 50 delegates, including some from United States, attended the G20 Research Innovation Initiative gathering. It is unknown whether China has officially protested the meeting with India. So far, Beijing has bagged India's G20 presidency and the Chinese foreign minister, Qin Gang, visited India earlier this month for the G20 foreign minister's meeting. Next, China-Russia Bonomi, ominous for India's global chip-making dream. As the US invests billion in local semiconductor manufacturing to end its in dependence on China, the bonhomie between Chinese President Jinping and his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin can be seen as an effort by Beijing to somehow negotiate on raw materials needed in semiconductor manufacturing. Russia and Ukraine are major producers of two key materials used in the semiconductor manufacturing, neon and palladium. Next. Bangladesh PM urges UN to recognize March 25th as International Genocide Day. Bangladesh wants March 25th to be recognized as International Genocide Day and thus requests United Nations to take measures. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina said on Saturday, according to Bangladeshi Sangbad Sanghastha, on Saturday, Bangladesh PM presided over Awami League Parliamentary Board meeting at her official Ganabhadam residence and called upon the world community, including the UN, to recognize March 25th of 1971 as International Genocide Day. Next. First trial run on Chenab River Rail Bridge in JNK. Railway Minister Ashwani Vaishnav on Sunday conducted the first trial run on a track-mounted vehicle on the rail bridge over the Chenab River in JNK, Riasi district, the world's highest railway bridge. The trial run marks a significant milestone in the completion of the udhampur katra srinagar Baramula rail link, which will connect the valley with the rest of the country by train in January 2024. The Chenab Bridge, which is a part of the udhampur srinagar Baramula rail link project, is being anticipated as one of the most magnificent train journeys in the future. After the successful trial run of the track-mounted vehicle, the bridge will soon be operational. Thank you.